Welcome to day number 23, and this will be interesting because this is actually, I'm gonna be honest, this is a repeat because I was in Youngstown and I worked out with Rob on day 23 and I uploaded all the footage and then guess what? It's the one day that did not upload correctly. Day 23 and day 24, for whatever reason, I lost that footage, so we're reshooting day 23 right now but for me this is actually day number 37 so i may show this video twice i may show it once i haven't decided yet but uh, either way you're gonna love this workout and rob is incredible so get ready for a treat i want you as the audience to get a workout and see what it's like uh, to work out with somebody like rob someone who's uh, very knowledgeable in what he does and if you're watching this and you're in the youngstown area you have to work out with Rob. So I'll let you take it away. I'm excited to see what you were gonna do. I know I loved it on the 23rd, so I can't wait to do it again. Right on, so I'm Rob Dubelt. I'm here at uh, Vibe Studio in Warren, Ohio. And uh, my boy Vinny, we've been friends for a long time. Uh, I learned a lot from this guy, I really look up to him. Asked me to put him through a, a body weight workout and primarily focusing on chest and triceps. So that we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do today. And uh, I guess we'll get started. Do it. Good? All right, man. So we're gonna start off nice wide base and inhale, reaching for the ground, exhale, arching up top. So you want a soft bend in your knees, inhaling it down, going as low as you can, exhaling it up and arching up top. So go another 10 seconds here. Good, and let's go into knee hugs. So you just wanna hug your knee into the chest back and forth. Just a slight stretch of the hamstring, starting to prep the legs a little bit. Good. Come back to a nice wide base with a soft bend in your knees. Take a deep breath in and now exhale, bend over, reaching for your right foot. Let's draw your chest down into the knee. Relax your neck, relax your lower back, sinking into your right heel. So you want to have a nice stretch in the back of your leg or your hamstring. Good, so we're gonna roll our spine up slow, coming to that standing position. Take a deep breath in, and now exhale, bend over, reaching for your left foot. Draw your chest down into the knee. Relax your neck, relax your lower back, sinking into your left heel. You should feel a stretch again in the back of that left leg. and rolling your spine up slow. Come right back into those knee hugs. So you're gonna hug the knee again into the chest, release and switch back and forth. Just a slight stretch of the hamstring. And set, great. So now we're gonna place one foot over top of the other, taking a deep breath in. And then once again, exhale, bending over, reaching for your toes as low as you can. Relax your neck, relax your lower back sinking into your heels or the back of your feet, and simply hold, stretching out the back of that leg. And rolling your spine up slow. Let's place the other foot over top, taking a deep breath in, exhale, bend over, reaching for your toes. Necks relaxed, lower back is relaxed all the weights into your heels. And rolling that spine up slow, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna go right arm over left, left over right. As your arms go behind your body, pinch your shoulder blades together. And now ball your fist, real small circles to the wall in front of you. And reverse it to the wall behind you. And relax. So again, keeping it body weight, all right? We're gonna get that heart rate elevated. At the same time, you're gonna feel a lot in the upper body and the chest and triceps. I'm gonna show you three movements. So the first movement we're gonna start off with it's called a CrossFit push-up. So you're gonna be on the ground with your thumbs either side the bottom of your chest. Your elbows are 45 degrees. So you don't want them flared out to the side. You want them flared to the back corners, okay? So feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna lock it out up top. 
all the way down, then your hands come up off the ground. On the ground, lock it out, all the way down, hands come up. If you gotta go to your knees, no problem at all. So this is gonna be the first movement called a CrossFit push-up. Now the second movement, we're gonna go right into a plank. Elbows are directly under your shoulders. I want your feet to be outside shoulder width. You're gonna come up and in this plank position, making sure your heels stay behind your toes. You're pulling the abs up into the spine, flexing your glutes, locking and hold. So we're gonna start there. I don't wanna throw too much at you just yet. We're gonna begin with those CrossFit push-ups. So once again, thumbs are either side, the bottom of the chest, elbows 45 degrees, heels behind the toes. We're gonna begin CrossFit push-ups in three, two, and let's go. Exhaling it up, inhaling it down. Breathe out as you come up off the ground, breathing in as you go down towards the ground. 10 seconds, we're gonna go into that plank hold where our elbows are under our shoulders, our feet are outside shoulder width. Five, four, three, two, and on your elbows. Interlock your hands, feet are outside shoulder width, and we are up. So as Vince is in this position, he's pulling his abs up into his spine, flexing his glutes. He's making sure his heels stay behind his toes. Now, if your shoulders are taking the brunt of this, you wanna shift the weight back into the feet. Pull those abs up, lock and hold. 10 seconds. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Five, four, three, two, time. Now, third movement is called a burpee base. Love this one. Thumbs outside the bottom of your chest, feet are shoulder width apart. You're gonna explode up into your base. So you want your knees underneath your waistline, your shins are parallel to the ground, and you return to that starting position. So you breathe out, breathe in. Go base, ground, base, ground for the burpee base. This is where your heart rate will begin to get elevated. Make sure you're breathing as you come up, breathing in on the way down. Burpee base in three, two, go. Ground, base, ground, base. Good, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, good. Exhaling it up, inhaling it down. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Three, two, time. Now, next movement's called a diamond push-up. Uh, this is primarily gonna focus on triceps. So, really hard movement. You're gonna make a diamond right here, throwing it on the ground. Again, elbows are tight, 45 degrees, feet shoulder width apart. You want the bottom of your chest to come in contact with your thumbs, locking it out. If you have to go to your knees, no problem at all. Diamond push-ups in five, four, three, two, and go. No problem if you gotta go to your knees. Five, four, three, two, time. One round. So we're gonna start off. CrossFit push-ups, plank hold, burpee base, into diamond push-ups for round two. Getting ready in 10 seconds. Coming into the CrossFit push-ups. Thumbs either side, the bottom of the chest. Feet shoulder width apart. You know what to do, Vinny. Three, two, go. Exhaling it up, all the way down, hands come up. All the way up, all the way down, hands come up. Breathing out as you push away from the ground. 10 seconds, we're gonna go directly into the plank hold. On our elbows in five, four, three, Two, on your elbows, directly under your shoulders, interlock your hands, feet nice and wide, and we are up. Pull the abs up into the spine, flex your glutes, heels behind your toes. If the shoulders are taking the brunt of it, shift your weight back into your feet, stay up and hold. Make sure you're not holding your breath. 15 seconds. Keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. 10 more seconds, come on. Keep fighting. Five, four, three, two. Taking it down to the ground for burpee base. Thumbs either side, the bottom of the chest. Ready, three, keep fighting, two, and go. Breathe it out, base, and return to the ground. Breathe it out, base, return to the ground. Fighting through it, 15 more seconds. Come on, baby. Exhaling it up, inhaling it down. 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Make sure you're breathing through the resistance. As you come up, breathe out. Keep going, three, two, and throwing a diamond out. Thumbs come, uh, chest goes to the bottom, 
uh, excuse me, bottom of your chest will touch your thumbs in three, two, go. If you gotta go to your knees, no problem. So the bottom of your chest will come in contact with your thumbs. Make sure those elbows are a little tighter, 45 degrees or tighter. You gotta go to your knees, that's fine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. We're gonna give you a 30 second break and we'll repeat that one more time. So keeping in mind, the objective is to tear that muscle fiber down. So when you feel that pain period and you embrace it and you push through it, that's when you're gonna see significant results. At the same time, we're elevating the heart rate, we're burning calories, we're leaning you out and sculpting the body. So pain is good, not injury pain, but tearing down that muscle fiber uh, is gonna get results. So make sure you push through that pain. Round three, CrossFit style pushups in three, two, and go let's get it exhaling it up third time's a charm baby so you want to keep those elbows at 45 degrees locking it out up top hands come up off the ground every time embrace that pain you want to see results you push through that pain come on five four three two plank hold on your elbows interlock your hands feet outside shoulder width three two and up pull the abs up into the spine flex your glutes Pay attention if you're feeling the brunt of it in your shoulders, shift the weight back, continually pull the abs up into the spine and focus on your breath. 20 more seconds, don't hold your breath on these. Ten more seconds, come on. Keep pushing through pain, get out of your head and just think go, 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 go. Refuse to drop, refuse to drop, refuse to drop. Three, two, Set, good job. Getting into the next movement. Ready, burpee base in three, two, go. Exhaling it up into the base. So on the base, your knees are under the waistline. Your shins are parallel to the ground. You exhale as you power it up off the ground. Keep fighting, 10 more seconds. Pushing through that pain, breathing through it. Just keep thinking, come on, keep go, 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 go. Ignore that pain, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, and time, good job. Diamond push-ups, throwing a diamond on the ground. If you gotta cross your, uh, Ankles and drop to your knees, no problem. Ready, diamond push-ups in three, end of round three in two, and let's go. Exhaling it up, inhaling it down. So again, this is focusing more so on triceps, also getting that chest involved, shoulders naturally. 10 more seconds. Come on, baby. Five, four, three, two, and water. Good job. All right, so now, next movement again, hitting the chest, keeping that heart rate elevated. Uh, we're gonna be in the push-up position. So the starting position, just like we did on the CrossFit push-ups, are right outside the bottom of the chest, okay? So what, what this is gonna look like here, I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna come up, and then I go wide. Down, up, starting position, down, up, wide. All right, so starting position, wide. Starting position, wide. Starting position, wide. Second movement, we're on our elbows, we're gonna come up, all right, feet are now gonna be shoulder width, and I just simply want you to tap outside the shoulder, outside the shoulder, right, left, and you're gonna feel that in your obliques. Same time, taking a little bit in the upper body. So a little superset here. We're gonna take it down to that push-up position. Thumbs either side of the bottom of the chest. You're in the starting position, wide. Starting position, wide. Ready, five, four, three, two, and let's go. Breathe in, breathe out wide. Breathe in, breathe out starting position. Breathe in, breathe out wide. Breathe in, breathe out starting position. Keep it going. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. You gotta go to your knees, no problem. Five, four, three, two, time. You can now elbows, interlock your hands. Your feet are shoulder width apart. These are just little taps in three. Shoulder width two and go, tap. Tap, good. So never bring your feet together. Always return shoulder width. You're gonna feel this more so like in your obliques, okay? It's great for your core. And again, after doing what we're doing with the upper body, your shoulders are gonna be firing as well. Not holding your breath. Exhale, exhale, keep fighting, keep fighting. 10 more seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, set. Who says you need weights? <laughs> you don't need weights. You know this. 
<laughs> so we're gonna do that same thing two more times. Okay, we're gonna give you another 15 seconds here. Always breathe out through the resistance. So as you leave the ground, exhale. All right, we're setting up for round two. If you gotta go to your knees, no problem. Ready, three, two, and let's go. Starting position, wide. Starting position, wide. Exhaling it up, inhaling it down. If you have to grunt like an old man, that's fine. Five, four, three, two, set. Plank position on your elbows, interlock your hands, feet shoulder width apart. Three, two, and go. Tap and outside your shoulder, shoulder width. Outside your shoulder, shoulder width. Now while you're doing this, you wanna pull the abs up into the spine. Make sure you're exhaling. So every time you reach that foot out, breathe out, and always return shoulder width. Never bring your feet together. Keep it going, keep it going. Come on, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. Yeah, those shoulders are taking a beating. 10 seconds. Keep fighting through it, keep fighting through it. Let's get it. Five, four, three, two, time. 30 seconds. We'll repeat that one more time. I like to see my 19 year olds try to do this with an out struggling. Round three, baby. Ready, setting up. Three, two, go. Inhaling it down, exhaling it up wide. Together, wide. Push through that pain, baby. Push through that pain, baby. Push through that pain. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Forward movement, just go, just go. Don't think, just go, just go, just go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. Time, plank position. Three, two, up, and we're tapping. We're tapping, we're tapping. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Forward movement, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on. Come on. 10 more seconds. You got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, time. Break, breathe, nice. Very good, very good. Okay, so now this is gonna seem uh, uh, easy. It looks easy, but it's really, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna feel it get to you a little bit. Uh, so we're gonna start off crossing your ankles here. All right, now I want you to have your thumbs behind your body, your fingertips are forward. And all I want you to do uh, is lock out, so your butt leaves the ground, down, lock out. So we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Seems like nothing, okay? But I want you to make sure your shoulders aren't slouched forward, but you activate your shoulders by pinching your shoulder blades back, lock out, down, lock out, down. Now at the end of 30 seconds, you're gonna lock out and hold. Just simply hold up top, all right? So we're, we're focusing more on triceps, You'll feel a little rear delt as well, or back of your shoulder. So now you want your thumbs behind your body, your fingertips are forward. Really important to not slouch the shoulders forward, but keep a proud chest, pinch your shoulder blades back. You wanna make sure your butt comes off the ground as you lock it out. Ready, three, two, and go. So up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah, baby. Think triceps. Now, Vinny knows as a bodybuilder how to get his mind and his muscle, come on. So he knows he can use his brain to activate more tricep. If you mindlessly perform the movement and you're not aware of what you're trying to target, you can start drawing from different muscle fibers. We wanna focus on tricep. You use your brain to make sure you're hitting those tries. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Five, four, three, two. Now stay up and lock and hold. We're up, we're up. Now the whole time you're doing this, your shoulders are gonna to wanna to slouch forward. I want you to make sure you activate them and pitch them back. So keeping a proud chest, pinch those shoulder blades back. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Stay up. 15 seconds. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Come on. Go, 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 go. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and time. We're gonna go jackknife. So on the jackknife, if you guys have a bad lower back, don't do these. Um, we're gonna have our legs locked out. I'm laying on my back. I have my hands on my quads. Never do I bring my hands up. So I'm gonna fold myself into a V. My knee, my uh, fingertips touch my kneecaps and I'm back down. So I exhale it up, inhale it down. You always want your eyes up, chin up. Now, if you have a bad lower back, bend your knees, extra chest, and meet the elbows to the knees over the waistline. If not, jackknife, never allow your, feet, your uh, hands to come off your legs. Ready, jackknife, eyes up, chin up. Five, four, three, two, and let's go. Exhaling it up, inhaling it down. So always look straight up at the ceiling. Good. Don't allow your hands to come off your legs. Come on, baby. 15 seconds, exhaling it up, inhaling it down. Remember, if your lower back gives you problems, go to that modified movement. 10 seconds, keep fighting, keep fighting. Time, one round, coming back to those tricep dips off the ground. Crossing your ankles, have your heels planted on, your heel planted on the ground, thumbs behind your body, fingertips, Straight ahead. Ready, so active shoulders. We pinch our shoulder blades back, proud chest. Three, two, go. Lock it out, down, lock it out, down, lock it out, down, lock it out, down. Yeah, baby. Flex the triceps. Force the back of your arms to contract on the way up. Up, down, up, down, up, down. 10 seconds, you got it. Got it. Five, four, three, two, time. Ready, three, two, and up. Lock it out and hold. Tricep, baby. Keep the stress on the back of the arms. Don't allow your shoulders to slouch forward. Activate those shoulders. Proud chest. Keep fighting through pain. Keep fighting through pain. Lock it out and hold. Lock it out and hold. Come on. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. 10 seconds, come on. Three, two, time. Jackknife, palms are on your quads, legs are locked out. Five, four, eyes up. Three, two, and go. Exhaling it up, inhaling it down. So try to keep that chin up, eyes should be looking straight up. Never allow your palms to come off of your quads. You wanna be sliding up till you feel your kneecap and your back down. Make sure those shoulder blades are coming up off the ground. We breathe out as we come up, we breathe in on the way down. 10 more seconds, fight through that pain, baby. Fight through that pain. Five, four, three, two, time. Two down, one to go. Last set of triceps here. Good job. All right, I'm gonna give you 10 seconds here, okay? 10, nine, eight, seven, tricep dip, six, five, four, we're dipping in three, two, and go. Lock it out, down, lock it out, down, lock it out, down. Fight and keep those shoulder blades active, proud chest, isolating the back of the arm. Fifteen seconds, baby. Come on, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You gotta tear it down so it grows back differently. Three, two, and we're up and hold. Ready and up. Lock it out and hold. Push through that pain. Tear it down. Tear it down. Come on. Twenty seconds. Fight through that pain, fight through that pain, come on. 15 seconds, last set of these, you got it. 10 seconds. Almost there, five, four, three, two, setting up for jack nice. Palms on your quads, legs are locked out, eyes up, chin up, five, four, last set of these, three, two, and go. Exhaling it up, inhaling it down. Come 
Come on, 20 seconds. 15 seconds, tear it down, tear it down. 10 seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, set. Water, relax. All right, so we uh, just finished more of the upper body portion, a little bit of abs. We're gonna do a little bit more stand-up cardio. Uh, I think Vinny went to grab a smoke real quick, so we're waiting for him to get back. And uh, we're gonna get in some full body cardio. So make sure that you're, you're uh, controlling your breathing. All right, we're gonna start off with more of an aerobic flow. So I don't want it to be, I don't want you to be sprinting. I want you to think more of like running a marathon. You're gonna kinda go more at a low to moderate intensity pace, okay? So you wanna survive this rather than attack it to begin. So first movement we're gonna do is called a cross jack. So if you follow this leg here, my feet are shoulder width apart. My leg here is in front, center, behind, center. Front, center, behind, center. These are called cross jacks. Second movement we do is called a stutter elbow to knee. Same starting position, two hops, elbow to knee. Two hops, elbow to knee, and we're flowing one, two, up, one, two, up, one, two, up, okay? So we're gonna start off with the cross jack. Shoulders are relaxed, soft bend of the knee, balls of your feet in three, two, cross jacks, and go. There you go. Let's see who you are behind that mask. So low to moderate intensity. You're not sprinting, you're flowing. 15 seconds, we're gonna go into the stutter, elbow to knee, stu, 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 stutter, elbow to knee, in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's go. One, two, up, one, two, up, one, two, up, one, two, up, two, up, one, two, up, two, up, one, two, up. I hope you got better moves on the dance floor, bro. <laughs> keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, set. So now I'm gonna hand Vinny his invisible jump rope and he's gonna go right foot jump rope for 30 seconds. I call a switch, left foot jump rope for 30 seconds. Ready, three, two, and go. Right foot, little hops, soft bend in the knee. Good. So in 20 seconds, you're gonna switch to the opposite leg. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, switch of legs and go. There you go, soft bend of the knee, shoulders relax. Twenty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, set. Next movement is called a squat bunny hop. So this is gonna be an athletic stance. An athletic stance is simply wherever you feel strong and well-grounded. So it's a nice wide base, eyes up, chin up, tension the shoulder blades back. Make sure as you squat, you kind of bow your knees out and you're loading more so the back of your feet. Squat and then just bunny. Squat, little hop, squat, little hop, squat, little hop. Nice and easy, pace yourself for 30 seconds. Squat, bunny hop in three, two, Go. Inhaling it down, exhaling it up. So light and limber, you're bowing the knees out. On the way down, you're sinking into the heels. On the way up, you're pushing from the balls of the feet. Fight to keep those shoulder blades active or pinched back. We don't want to slouch the shoulders in front of the ankles, but keep them pinched back, proud chest. Breathing in on the way down, exhale on the way up, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, Two time. Two more times. Keep in mind we're flowing, okay? So we don't want to sprint or attack. You're trying to survive. You're trying to go at more low to moderate intensity on these next two rounds. Getting towards the end. Cross jacks. Feet shoulder width apart to begin. Shoulders relaxed. Ready. Round two and three. 
two, and let's get it in front, center, behind, center. Good, so you're breathing, you're relaxed, you're light and limber, you're flowing. Fifteen seconds, we're gonna go right into that stutter, elbow to knee. Again, keeping it relaxed, shoulders are relaxed, light on your feet. Getting ready for that next movement in five, four, three, two, let's go. One, two, up, one, two, up, one, two, breathe out. One, two, breathe out, let's go. Shoulders relaxed, balls of your feet. Fifteen more seconds. Ten seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Five, four, three, two. Pick up your jump rope, right foot jump rope. In three, two, go. Right foot, right foot, right foot, right foot, right foot. Shoulders relaxed, soft into the knee balls of your feet. Come on, baby. Calf burning. Make sure you're breathing. 15 seconds, we switch legs. Getting ready, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, switch your legs and go. Yeah, baby, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, set. Squat, bunny hops, athletic stance. Inhaling it down, exhaling it up. Let's get it in five. Come on. Four, three, two, go. Breathing in on the way down, exhaling it up. Lower those knees out. On the way down, sink into the heels. On the way up, pushing from the balls of the feet. Fight to keep your shoulder blades pinched back. Good. Keep your eyes up. Look where the wall meets the ceiling, so you're keeping your eyes up, chin up. Active shoulders, inhaling it down, exhaling it up. Almost there, baby. Five, four, three, two. A little extra break here if you wanna grab some water. You all know, if it was easy, seriously, if it was easy, everybody would be walking around with cut shoulders and abs and looking good and being healthy at all ages, at every level, but it's not easy. It's difficult, but that's where we, as a group, we persist, we fight through it, even when we struggle, because we, I'm struggling, and when you struggle, that's fine, because we're knowing, we know exactly, exactly where we're going. We have a clear vision of what that looks like, where we're headed. We have goals all over our mirrors and, and in our car and our offices, whatever that looks like for you. And we know that this hard work is gonna result in a harvest in the end. And that's what we're doing. Let's keep going. I'll tell you what, the more, the more you consistently show up, you grow callous to it. It becomes easier. And that's why you gotta keep raising the bar. So the more you do this, the, the more effective and the easier it's gonna become. Just keep showing up, just keep fighting through it. And it does get a little easier. So keep pushing, you grow strong, you grow callous towards it and then you just keep raising the bar, baby. So this is gonna be our final round of the day. One more time, getting ready. Cross jacks in five, four, three, two, and let's go. In 15 seconds, we go stutter, elbow to knee. 10 seconds. Round two, ready, five, four, three, 
two, let's go. One, two, up, one, two, up, one, two, up. Come on, big exhale when that knee comes up. One, two, up, one, two, up, one, two, up. Exhaling it up. 20 seconds, we're jumping rope. 15 seconds, we're jumping rope. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Grab your jump rope and go. Right foot, right foot, right foot, right foot, right foot, right foot, come on. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. 20 more seconds. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, switching legs, let's go. Twenty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Let's go ten. Five, four, three, two. Last set of the day. Athletic stance. Squat. Bunny hop. Finish strong. Five, four, three, two. Let's go. Light it up. Last round of the day. Whatever you got in the tank, put it out on this set here, last set of the day. Inhaling it down, exhaling it up. Keep grinding, baby. Forward movement, forward movement. All you're thinking is go, 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 go. Nothing else, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Finish strong, finish strong, finish strong. Throwing a little extra on there. 20 seconds, you're done. 19, 18, don't stop. 17, keep moving, 16, come on. 15 seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Finish strong, finish strong. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, time, Fanito. job, brother. That's all she wrote, folks. All right, Rob, where do they find you at? Uh, you guys can find me at uh, on Facebook. It's just my name, Rob Dubelt. I also started a New Life Keto group, if you guys are interested in the ketogenic diet. We have a great support, a lot of information on there, a lot of recipes and things. So keto might not be for everyone, but if that's something you're interested, find me at New Life Keto on Facebook. What about so. additional workouts? If they, if they don't live in the area, could they somehow get you to train them? Like, yeah, you can, yeah, you can private message me on uh, my Facebook. Again, it's just Rob Belt. Send me a message if you're looking for you know programming or online coaching or even some nutritional counseling. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, just my name, Rob Dubelt. So, Ooh. cool. All right. It's been fantastic as always.